Good evening, I'm Megan Mangello. And I'm Adam Clements. Leaders in a local neighborhood plan for the future as they work for the first major overhaul there in nearly four decades. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton live right now in Mount Airy's business district. And Courtney, they're taking steps to improve that area, right? Right, they really really utilized the pandemic as a time to plan ahead and strategize. And now they started with you and mine and the public getting their input. Riding through Mount Airy's business district, you'll see hair salons, barber shops, and a few small businesses. But leaders with Mount Airy Cure say it could be so much more. People really want to see traffic slow down here, um, safety increased, coffee shops. Make, make this a place where people can come and hang out. There's no place for Mount Arians right now to come and walk and get a coffee. Cincinnati city leaders created Mount Airy Cure more than 10 years ago after a UC study found it was the quickest declining neighborhood in the city. They're looking to nearby revitalization projects for inspiration. Mount Airy here, we're in between Northside and College Hill and two wonderful neighborhoods. We want to be similar, but we want to have our own Mount Airy twist on it. With input from city planning and development, organizers put together a strategy and goal survey online for the community to weigh in. We asked those who live here what they would want to see. Probably like a, a, a homemade restaurant, like, like, like a good soul food restaurant for the, um, for the black um, community. Recreation center, like more stuff for the children, more apartments for the mothers, the single fathers. Leaders are ready to make some of these wishes a reality once everyone is heard. We own um, a lot of properties actually on this street. We're just looking to redevelop, redevelop this corner here, hopefully have a mixed use housing, have businesses on the bottom, uh, mixed income housing on the top. And community leaders tell me they really just need people to invest. They have a beautiful forest, beautiful homes here, and they just need people to take it a step further. Now, if you want to check out that survey, I have it on my story right on Local12.com. In Mount Airy, Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. Courtney, thank you. And on April 7th, there is a final public meeting that will be held at the Little Brothers of the Elderly on Coleraine Avenue. That's when the results of the survey will be talked about. And you could also share some last-minute ideas. We have more on our website, Local12.com.